I wanted to respond quicker to potential clients that want to work with me. Because I found that according to research, contacting a lead within 5 minutes makes you 21 times more likely to qualify compared to waiting for 30 minutes. As they say in English, you have to strike the iron when it's hot. And that's definitely the case for sales. So I came up with a pretty smart automation, if I say so myself. This automation can reply to a potential client within five minutes of them filling out my client questionnaires. So ChatGPT analyzes all of the questions and answers and then comes up with three clarifying questions. It sends me a WhatsApp message. I am able to see what it came up with edit it if I don't like it because we cannot fully trust AI and the moment I click on approve a full email is sent to the client which they can then reply to and because this all happens in the cloud and on my whatsapp I can even do this if I'm outside and not even on my laptop and of course you can also reply to an email on your phone and analyze all of the questions on your phone but hey this is just a lot easier and I can never be so quick as ChatGPT analyzing all of the questions and the answers and this is actually a thing that AI is really good at. Large language models are good with analyzing language and then coming up with things. I mean, at this point, we all know that, right? It's great for writing emails. And so now that I got it to work, it actually made me excited because this is actually relevant not only for my own business, but also for my client's business. A lot of businesses could benefit from a fast reply to a potential lead. So I can literally start offering this as a service right now to my clients as well, which is pretty awesome awesome and the client questionnaire still does its job i do get some questions about this so the reason i have a client questionnaire is to avoid that awkward first conversation uh, that i would normally have in the past which is like how much does a website cost and then you want to reply with well that's the same question as how much does a car cost it depends but you don't really want to say that because that's not a nice way to start a conversation and so what i do right now is i just send them to my client questionnaire form they just fill out a few questions and then i know if i want to get into a call a video call with them because at this point i don't want to work with everyone that offers me money and so this form also filters out the people that are not serious i can see it in their answers i can see it in the budget so if i don't like the answers then i can also reject them and i can still do this after i've sent the clarifying questions that doesn't matter but i don't want to waste my time on people that are not serious so i think this automation is pretty cool i am using a uh, auto kit uh, in combination with fill out i have already made a video about fill out i love that platform it's such a nice form platform i also do my uh, call scheduling is there it has automations built in and i run all of my automations now in auto kit because it's just so visual it's so easy to use i mean it's still quite quite hard because automation is not easy but for an automation tool, I think AutoKit is great. AutoKit has an annual plan and lifetime plans. This is not possible in the free version because now things are getting a little bit more complex. And if you want that WhatsApp verification, you actually need the business plan. They do have an LTD, which I bought last Black Friday which is pretty unique, but yeah, that's what I used to make this work. Then my client questionnaire form looks like this. It is multi-page. Um, if you also want a client questionnaire form, I do have a PDF that you can upload because Fillout has a PDF upload feature. And Fillout is free to use, by the way, so you can have your client questionnaire for free if you want. Then on the Integrate tab, I connected it with Google Docs. This is a native integration. You don't need an automation tool to uh, save the information inside of a Google Doc. I also set up a Slack notification, so I know that somebody submitted it. And here you can see the Google Drive folder it's connected to. Uh, these blue fields are dynamic fields. In order to make this work, you have to also add the submission ID because you need that in the automation platform. And then I also added a webhook uh, to send the data to the automation platform. So inside of the automation platform, I just uh, created a new workflow. And then I just search for fill out. And then the webhook that you get there, I put that into fill out. So that uh, connects both of the apps. Then in order to test it, it will wait for you to submit a new submission. So you have to fill out as if you were a potential client. And then you can see that the data is coming through. This looks a bit messy, but it's important that you see the questions and the answers. 
Then I just added a little delay because I found out while trying to build this workflow that fill out takes a little bit of time to add the stuff to a Google Doc. And first, there is a, a step uh, where it finds the Google Doc. So how this works is that Fillout creates the documents inside of your Google Drive folder. That's their part of the integration. And then in AutoCAD, you're basically uh, saying that you want to find that document and you're going to use that submission ID in order to find that document. I simplified the naming a little bit because apparently that was a little bit hard. But then I got it to work and I saw that the data was coming through. Then I had to add a step to fetch the uh, content from the document that Filat put in there, which then showed all of the data. As you can see, 2,500 characters. So this is often how it is in uh, automations, by the way. You have to do every single little thing in a separate step. Then, of course, we're going to add OpenAI to create a chat in ChatGPT. You do then have to put in your API key, which you have to get from your OpenAI account. Then create an API key and copy your API key and put it uh, back in AutoKit. Then it says connected. If it's connected, then you can select the model you want. I'm just searching for GPT-5 because that's, of course, the best model. And hey, feel free to use another AI model. Maybe you like Claude better. Maybe I should use Claude, actually, because Claude is pretty good at writing. And here it's important to tell AutoKit how you want the uh, AI to behave. So I'm telling it, I want you to act like a potential client sales assistant. And then you can find the client's answers in the discovery call. And then I'm saying, I want you to check the response that all of that text and then analyze the questions and answers carefully. Then generate one to five follow up questions and only ask the questions that are necessary because ChatGPT sometimes likes to prove itself and do a lot of unnecessary stuff. And then I'm basically telling it how I want it to be formatted so it's not going crazy with the text. Questions only, keep it simple. I'm testing the action here. So now it's using my OpenAI API key to generate a few questions. And there you go. You can see it. The formatting here is not good, but that's fine. Then I'm adding the uh, human in the loop uh, because I may not like what ChatGPT put out, right? So you can do email and WhatsApp, but hey, I want to avoid email at all costs. So I'm doing WhatsApp here. I'm putting my number in there, which I, of course, blurred. And I'm just formatting how that WhatsApp message is going to look. The max waiting time is important here. And don't put this one on five minutes because this is the waiting time uh, of the automation before it rejects or approves the submission. So I'm putting this one on five days because I want to make sure that I give myself enough time to check that WhatsApp message, right? It's very important that you put the can edit approval message on yes, because that allows you to change the text that ChatGPT generated. And if the five days passed, then auto approve it. So let's say I'm on vacation, I'm on the beach, I forget about this automation, then it's just gonna send the email with whatever ChatGPT generated. But that's fine, it's not the end of the world, right? ChatGPT is not gonna say something weird, I hope so. And here you can see how that looks on WhatsApp. And then it uh, opens a link with the questions. In this case, it's five. I can edit it if I want. And the moment I click on approve, we go to the next step, which is sending the email, you would think. But I wanted to add one more thing. And that is that I wanted to add the questions, the clarifying questions that ChatGPT came up with and that I approved to the Google document. So I'm putting it on append text to the document so that it adds text to an existing document. Here, make sure to select the map checkbox, then the file ID, and then the response from that human, me, who updated that message. And I checked it and it worked. Well, actually, it didn't show the questions here because while you're editing the automation, it doesn't actually add the questions there for some reason. And then I went to the last step, which is the email. Like I said, AutoKit doesn't send emails itself, but it does have an email sender. You can use your own SMTP server. So just search for send email. Yeah, you have to be very specific. And then you have to create a connection. And this is where you set up your SMTP details. This data is available on your hosting. If you have your email connected to your hosting, maybe you're using another server, maybe you're using Gmail. You can find the exact SMTP server online and of course put in your email, your password, and then it should work. 
we're gonna of course send it to the client, so in this case Lucy, and I am just formatting the email here. Thank you very much for answering the questions, it's really helpful. I have a few more questions that will further help understand your business and then of course we're gonna select the response from that automation. Looking forward to your reply, RDB agency. Uh, let's go, let's test it. Email was sent successfully, it's, it says. So let's test it fully one more time. I've put in another business, it is a car business. And yes, I got the WhatsApp message, as you can see. Uh, these are the five questions it, it came up with. If you think five is too much, then of course you should change your prompt to three. And yes, it did generate the email perfectly formatted. I am super happy with this. So now, whenever a client approaches me, I only have to open my WhatsApp, check the questions, and the client will get a super quick response, which signals that I am on top of my stuff, but I'm, I'm actually using automation. And again, it's not really damaging my reputation because it's there's nothing wrong with asking a few clarifying questions, right? So if you also want to build something for yourself, then please use my affiliate links. That's the way I make a commissions uh, if you decide to buy. Of course, you don't have to use it, but that's always appreciated. I use Fillout and AutoKit very intensely for my own web design business. As you can see right here, I literally have 63 automations in this platform. I am in love. It is so cool and also fill out. I've made another video about them. And actually when I made this work, I was I was super happy. I was like, wow, this is this is super cool. And maybe we, we can even take it a step further by also having some auto reply. So for example, in the weekend, if a client emails me, I would like to have some kind of reply which says like, hey, it's the weekend or I will take a look at it on Monday. I mean, anything that I can do to not spend too much time on email and just automate this process without sacrificing the quality is a win for me. So if you have ideas on how I can use automation more then please put them in the comments. And I really hope that some of you can also implement something like this. I know it's a little bit of work, but if this increases the amount of clients you can get because you're striking the iron when it's hot, then I think that this video has reached its goal. Okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next one.